Campbell Town Council is in a bit of sticker shock tonight. The mayor says they were just told this morning the schools are short four and a half million dollars for this fiscal year, and they need more than six million dollars for next year's budget. News 8's Bob Wilson was in Enfield where there have been layoffs and rallies trying to save jobs. Inside town council chambers, it was standing room only with a line through the hallway and out the door. About 400 educators showing up at Enfield Town Hall. Those who couldn't fit inside standing outside with signs and banners and pink t-shirts for the teachers that have already been given pink slips. They gave 121 pink slips to our staff back in April. It's 24% of the, the faculty here at um, in Enfield. Some parents have um, expressed concern. Um, but it's kind of hard, you don't know what to tell them. Actually, Teacher Appreciation Week um, this week, and we don't feel so appreciated. Both Casina and Spalding have been given pink slips. Emotions ran high as the stakes were high. The Enfield mayor says the schools are not only looking for money for next year's budget, but face a huge hole at the end of the current budget year. But if you take 4.5 million plus the 6.5 million they're asking for next year, that wipes out the town's fund balance, which is 25 million. We need 15 million to remain to keep our great bond rating. We have had decades of zero tax increases. We can't believe that there's a free lunch. There is no free lunch. It is coming home to roost. We have to fund our schools. Enfield has a very large population of seniors and they're suffering too with a high budget, with high taxes. We have to spread the money out. I'm not so sure we're going to have to raise taxes, possible, but if that's the case, it would be a small increment. This is a budget that needs to be funded. It, it's a commitment that needs to be made. And honestly, the increase that's being asked for is going to be somewhere between 250 to maybe $350 a family. Enfield Town Council has until May 20th to vote in a budget. In Enfield, Bob Wilson, News 8.